Holy Trinity, one God. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God. Blood of Christ, of the new and eternal testament. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony. Blood of Christ shed profusely in the scourging. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls. Blood of Christ, dream of mercy. Blood of Christ, victor over demons. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril. Blood of Christ, relief of the burdened. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. You have redeemed us, O Lord, in your blood. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you have appointed your only begotten Son, the Redeemer of the world, and willed to be appeased by his blood. Grant, we beg of you, that we may worthily adore this price of our salvation, and through its power be safeguarded from the evils of the present life, so that we may rejoice in its fruits forever in heaven, through the same Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Truth, Live Catholic with trusted series, features, and specials from EWTN Home Video. The EWTN Home Video highlight for April is Our Hermitage and In His Sandals. In both these programs, Mother Angelica uses her unique spiritual genius to crack open the mysteries of the Bible. It's hard to make a living today because you work and you work and you work hard and you come home and by the time you have all the things taken off your pay that they need to take off and you come home and inflation goes up and it's hard to live in the world and yet the Christian is to have a spiritual understanding. His understanding of things that happen is so much more elevated. Order your DVD and receive a free copy of Mother Angelica's book, In His Sandals, A Journey with Jesus, at EWTNRC.com or call 1-800-854-6316. EWTN. Live Truth. Live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray for ourselves. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you. You have brought me into existence. You support me throughout my life, and you invite me to share in your life forever how good you are to me. Protect me from moral and physical harm. Give me your spirit to inspire, guide, and transform me. Use me for your glory and the good of others, and never let me be separated from you, my God and my all. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed to direct the steps of the priest St. Louis along the way of salvation and the love of Christ in the company of the, ble of the Blessed Virgin, grant us by his example that meditating on the mysteries of your love we may strive tirelessly for the building up of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had killed him by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. Verbum Domini. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed a man who takes refuge in him. The Lord comforts the evildoers, 
to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. Secundum Ioannem. Gloria The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy, for the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. Verbum Domini. I hope you had the uh, opportunity to watch the premiere of the docudrama that aired last night on EWTN about Venerable Pauline Jericho. I didn't know her name a couple months ago, but she was a remarkable laywoman whom it said that there's no part of the world that hasn't been touched by her by her impact, her influence. She lived after the time of the French Revolution in France, and she was the one who was the founder of the propagation of the faith, now the Pontifical Mission Society. And it was a very simple idea to mobilize the laity for evangelization. In fact, the very first line in that docudrama is, if you have been baptized, you are called to be a missionary. And so she m saw that truth to mobilize the laity in a very simple way. People were to donate one penny toward the church's missionary activity, the propagation of the faith. And they were to pray for the success of the church's mission and missionary activity and evangelization. And so she had this zeal for souls that she said, I've been called both to love and to act, called to this missionary activity. So what a remarkable story her story is. And again, that first line, if you have been baptized, 
you are called to be a missionary, to spread the gospel, that a fire's been lit in you. This morning we read from St. John Chrysostom, and he says it's impossible if you are a Christian not to have an impact on others. And if you say otherwise, you're calling God a liar because you're a light, you're a light in the world. And think about the fact yesterday we heard how the apostles had been put in jail and an angel worked to release them, brought their release. And what does the angel tell them to do? Go and talk about this life. Go into the temple area and tell the people all about this life. That's what it is about this new life that we have in Christ who has risen from the dead. We too are called to be his witnesses. And so today's first reading, we continue what we heard yesterday, how they had gone out, they were preaching in the temple, and then again they're being brought in by the authorities. We gave you strict orders not to talk in, they wouldn't even say the name Jesus, in that name. We gave you strict orders. Yet you filled Jerusalem with your teaching. And so Peter and the apostles reply, we must obey God rather than men. And he goes on to speak of how the God of our ancestors raised Jesus. God exalted him at his right hand. How do you know that? There's this man who was lame. You saw him every day at the beautiful gate begging. He's now walking in the name of Jesus. So that confirms God has exalted him. He's at his right hand. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. You see, that's the... uh, Encouragement for us, isn't it, that it's not just our own ingenuity, our own creativity, our own abilities that's going to be effective in evangelizing and being missionaries. No, there's something more at work. The Holy Spirit is also testifying. We have angelic help, as we heard in yesterday's reading. So there's divine assistance in this proclamation of the gospel. No, yesterday we heard the angels say, well, you go into the temple area, tell them all about this life. He could have gone there. That would have had an impact, right? The angel going there and talking about this life. But God has set it up that we who are members of the body of Christ, who have his spirit, that he's calling us to go out to talk about this new life that we have this Holy Spirit alive in us. We've encountered the Lord. You know, the very first thing the Lord did when he called apostles or disciples, he called them to be with him, to be with him, to learn from him, to see him, to be with him, to touch him. And then he sent them out. He gave them authority. He gave them power. It's a great quote from Pope Benedict XVI in a homily he gave. He said, the risen Christ needs witnesses who have met him. People who have known him intimately through the power of the Holy Spirit. Those who have, so to speak, actually touched him can witness to him. Have you met him? Have you met Jesus? If you have a heart that's open, today in our office of readings, we had Revelations chapter three. Here I stand at the door knocking and whoever opens the door, I'll come and have supper with him and he with me. And that's for each one of us. He's knocking at the door of our hearts. Are we gonna open that door and receive him so that we might meet him, that we might sup with him, that we might have this communion with him And so prayer is essential, right, in our work of missionary activity. Pauline Jericho understood that. She started something called the Living Rosary. She had devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. She founded this house, the Loretto House, 
where young women would come and they would have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. But she also started something called the Living Rosary. And there were to be 15 members in this Living Rosary group. And each one of them would pray one particular mystery of those 15 mysteries, joyful, sorrowful, and glorious. And they would pray for each other. They'd pray for the church's missionary activity. And every day they would pray that specific decade. So there was this, in her mind, there was always this 15 decade rosary that was being prayed each day by this group of 15. And we think about today's saint, St. Louis Marie de Montfort. He was instituted by Pope Clement XI as an apostolic missionary. So he was commissioned by him to go throughout France to call people back to God. And what was one of the things that he did? He had them, after his uh, retreat that he would give, to renew their baptismal promises and to sign it. So again, it was bringing them back to the reality of what happened in their baptism and so that they too could be missionaries. If you've been baptized, you're called to be a missionary in some way to bring the light of Christ to others. Another consolation for us is in today's gospel, how Jesus said, the one who comes from above, the one who comes from above, he's speaking of himself here. But earlier he had said to Nicodemus, unless you are born from above, the same word, unless you are born from above, so how are we born from above? By baptism. He's speaking of baptism to Nicodemus. So we've been born from above by baptism. And Jesus says, he does not, the one whom God sent, speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. He's not, not just piddling it out, you know, calculating way. He doesn't ration it. He gives it abundantly. And we see that later in John's gospel in chapter 7, where he says at the uh, Feast of Tabernacles, and there was this pouring out of water on the last day of this Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus stands up and he says, let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink rivers of living water, not just a piddly little stream, but rivers of living water will flow from within him. And John comments, he said this in reference to the spirit that those who came to believe in him were to receive. He does not ration his gift of the spirit. Come Holy Spirit and enkindle in our hearts the fire of your love so that we too may be those witnesses, those zealous missionaries as we see in Pauline Jericho who be beatified on May 22nd in St. Louis Marie de Montfort. An interesting point that both of them understood. They understood the importance of baptism of the Eucharist and also how Our Lady is one who especially helps us to be effective in our missionary activity. You know, our own Father Patrick recently completed his uh, degree, his licentiate degree, in uh, the New Evangelization. It's a pontifical degree. And his thesis was on St. Maximilian Kolbe and how his devotion to the Blessed Sacrament his devotion to Our Lady was essential to the fruitfulness of his apostolic missionary work. Those two pillars, right, keep us on course. And Our Lady is the star of the new evangelization, as Pope John Paul called her in Mexico, of Our Lady of Guadalupe. She is in a particular way, as Louis de Montfort Montfort understood, that there's an essential role that she plays in our own spiritual life and our growth. He said, you'll make more progress in a short time with devotion to Our Lady than in years without it. Yes, there are other ways that you might go, 
there's a lot more crosses and difficulties. And even the cross, there's a certain sweetness that Our Lady will bring to the crosses of our life. And so he says we're going to bear much more fruit with that. That was something that really influenced Pope St. John Paul II, that he would take words of Louis de Montfort for his motto, totus to us, totally yours, and have the large M at the foot of the cross on his coat of arms. So Louis de Montfort teaches us that that devotion to lady is not just some kind of side thing that, yeah, it's okay, you know, if you like Our Lady, but really that it's going to be something so beneficial to our own spiritual life and to our own missionary work. If you're baptized, you're called to be a missionary. Again, from Pope Benedict, the risen Christ needs witnesses who have met him. People who have known him intimately through the power of the Holy Spirit those who have, so to speak, actually touched him, can witness to him. And today's Psalm, Psalm 34, taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. And I invite you, if you haven't met the Lord, to invite him into your life today. He's standing at the door, he's knocking, He's waiting for you to open that door to invite him into your life. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the one who takes refuge in him. With Our Lady of Hope, we rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus, and we ask the Father for all of our needs. That our Holy Father, with his fellow bishops and priests, may present Christ to the world as Savior, Master, and abiding friend. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That the good news of salvation may be carried to all nations and to the ends of the earth, bringing an end to war and hatred. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer that we may actively build a world that seeks justice and respects life at every stage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policemen, firefighters, and all who work for safety, that they may experience the special protection of their guardian angels in times of danger and self-sacrifice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, that in God's mercy, they may be freed from their sins and enjoy new life in the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, through these Easter celebrations, renew your people in zeal to speak and live the gospel, that the church may truly be a living sacrament of salvation for all, through Christ our Lord.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Louis de Montfort, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Louis de Montfort, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei Morten Tuam Anuncia Gustomie Et Tuam Resurrectione Capitemur Domonet Venias Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Louis Marie de Montfort, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Precepti salutaribus moniti et divina institutione formati audemus dicere. Pater noster, qui es in celis, Propitius pacem in diebus nostris, Europe misericordiae tui adiuti, 
Ere peccato simus semper liberi, ere omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatum spem, et adventum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property. Alleluia. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. I believe that you, O Jesus, are in the most holy sacrament. I love you and desire you. Come into my heart, I embrace you. Oh, never, never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love, O Lord Jesus, I beseech you, absorb my mind, that I may die through love of your love, who were graciously pleased to die through love of my love. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. 
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Louis Marie de Montfort, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Dominus Fobiscum. Et cum spiritus tuo. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Ita he
invocations, God our Father, who wills that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of your truth, we beg you to send labors into your harvest and grant them grace to speak your word with all boldness so that your word may spread and be glorified and all nations may know you, the only God, and him whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Americas, Mary, Mother of the Franciscan Missionaries of the Eternal Word, pray for us. Today I was taken up to heaven in spirit where I saw inconceivable beauties and the happiness that awaits us after death. My child, happiness in heaven is constant and forever new. The source of happiness is unchanging in its essence. It is always new, gushing forth happiness for all its creatures. Know that all the beauty you have seen in nature is nothing compared to the beauty and joy of heaven and what I've prepared for those who love me. Our Lord has revealed to me that we should often think of heaven. There are different degrees of happiness in heaven. Every soul will be beautiful, but many souls will shine more glorious than others. St. Paul has said it best. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for those who love him. Lord, bless our family, all of us now together, those far away, all who are gone back to you. May we know joy, may we bear our sorrows in patience, let love guide our understanding of each other. Let us be grateful to each other. We have all made each other what we are. O family of Jesus, watch over our family. Amen. It is one of the curious facts of church history that an English Benedictine monk became the Apostle of Germany. His name was St. Boniface. I'm Father Charles Connor, and this is The Church in Time. The great Apostle Boniface was also a close personal friend of Pippin, the King of the Franks, and the father of Charlemagne. And through this friendship, St. Boniface was instrumental in forging a, a close bond between King Pippin and the Pope. And from this, from this bond of friendship, the king was able to secure back for the Holy Father many of the lands that had been taken from him earlier by the Lombards. These lands became the Papal States. And the Pope would become a temporal ruler over these papal states until the year 1870. Not only was Boniface a marvelous spiritual man, but he was obviously a very skilled negotiator. And this has been The Church in Time. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine.
One of the great blessings of this network is that it enables us to be united in prayer as one global family, praying for those things which concern us all. During this month, we are praying a portion of the consecration prayer of His Holiness Pope Francis for peace in the world. Together, O Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, in this time of trial, we turn to you. As our mother, you love us and know us. No concern of our hearts is hidden from you. Mother of mercy, how often we have experienced your watchful care and your peaceful presence. You never cease to guide us to Jesus, the Prince of Peace. How greatly we need your maternal help. Therefore, O oh Mother, hear our prayer. Star of the sea, do not let us be shipwrecked in the tempest of war. Ark of the new covenant, inspire projects and paths of reconciliation. Queen of heaven, restore God's peace to the world. Eliminate hatred and the thirst for revenge and teach us forgiveness. Free us from war, protect our world from the menace of nuclear weapons. Queen of the Rosary, make us realize our need to pray and to love. Queen of the human family, show people the path of fraternity. Queen of peace, obtain peace for our world. Amen. The Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Luminous Mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. For persecuted Christians, and the many refugees of Ukraine. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For right faith, certain hope, and perfect charity, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We pray that both in life and in death we may glorify the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of our Lord in the Jordan. John said to the people, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After Jesus had been baptized and was praying, heaven was open and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast of Cana. The head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this as the beginning of his signs at Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God and the call to conversion. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and now shall we shall Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. A bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. The disciples prepared the Passover. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them and said, take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks and gave it to them and they all drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, the O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy.
To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. For our Holy Father's intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us and all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It has been tradition to celebrate both Saints Peter and Paul on the same day. They are known for their preaching, ministry, and martyrdom. Saint Peter was the first to recognize that Jesus was the Messiah. Despite his human weakness, 